Hi, I'm Nancy from Black Sheep Knitting in Needham. Um, those of you who know me know I'm recovering from an accident, but I'm just here to tell you I'm doing much better every day as an improvement. Um, and I am back to work, which is good news. And the shop is open. So I wanted to, Robin and I were talking about, I watched a lot of TV in my convalescence. And one of the um, shows we were talking about was called Shetland. And it takes place on the Shetland Islands, which are, are north of Scotland. And uh, they're owned by Scotland. And there are lots of beautiful Fair Isle sweaters on the show and lots of incredible scenery. And not to mention the guy that plays Jimmy Perez, who's also not hard to look at. Um, so we, I thought about the Shetland Islands and I've always wanted to go there. They're about 130 miles off the north of um, Scotland and they're known for their sheep and wool. I think there's about 150,000 sheep on the island um, and that's one of their main industries if not the only. People could correct me on some of this stuff. Um, the main uh, town, and I think it's just a town, I don't think it's very big or city, is called Lairwick and that's on the island called Mainland. There are other smaller islands I think, I'm looking, there's about a hundred islands but there's fewer than 20 that are inhabited. One of them is also called Fair Isle, which is where the name Fair Isle comes from. I don't know if they invented Fair Isle knitting, but um, that's what, and Fair Isle knitting is um, also called stranded knitting. And I'm gonna show you a sweater here that I'll talk about in a few minutes, but this is Fair Isle knitting. Um, there are tours, they have, um, uh, they have something called Shetland Wool Week every fall, and I, it was probably virtual last year. I think they're planning on doing it live this year, and there are tours that you can take to go there. The, um, there's a yarn shop called The Elegant U in Manchester, New Hampshire, who runs a um, tour every year, um, and people sign up right away. I have no idea if they have any spots left or if they've taken orders yet for the tour, but you can look that up. Or you can also look up, I'm sure there are other people running tours, or go on your own. To get there, however, you have to take a ferry. It's an overnight ferry. And what people do is you get on in the evening and you go to bed and you wake up and you're on, the, you're in, um, probably it goes to mainland, to Lerwick. Um, the um, other way is to fly and um, I'm assuming it's probably a small plane, and that's also weather dependent. They, they've got a lot of weather up in that part of the world. Um, but the tours they say are great. The Shetland Wool Week, they say it's fabulous. There are lots of places to go and things to see and lots of people selling yarn. Um, and you've probably heard of the Shetland yarns. They tend to be um, more woolly wools, I would say but wonderful and I was talking to somebody the other day about um, how cold it is and I was had to walk somewhere and I had on a wool sweater and a down coat and it was you know in the low 20s or teens and I wasn't cold my extremities were a little cold and I didn't have a hat on and probably not the proper gloves but wool just keeps you really really warm and I recommend it Polar fleece was the big thing for a long time, but real wool, and you may say some things are a little scratchy. Well, when you put it on over a turtleneck or over another something else, you're not, it's not scratchy. And once you wash some of these wools, they soften up great a great deal, and they last forever. So I highly recommend wool, and even 100% wool if you can get it. Um, I wanted to um, show you um, some Fair Isle or stranded knitting patterns. And the first one is called the Bobble, B-A-A dash B-L-E hat. And this was a, a hat from the, they do a pattern every year at the Shetland Wool Week 
and this was the pattern for 2015. It's very popular and the sheep in it I think are adorable. And the yarns that we have, this is a DK weight yarn. I can show you another picture that's a little bit better here, but you can choose all kinds of colors to do it. And this is an easy um, first stranded knitting pattern. It's done in the round. And I have some yarns that I would recommend that are great for um, warmth and for knitting with, and they're soft as all get out. And this is, um, I have two different ones, and, but they're interchangeable. One is from the Alpaca Yarn Company and it's called Classic Alpaca. And it's 100% alpaca. And so I have in those colors, or though that yarn, I have these colors right here. And we also have more in the shop, but these, like if you look at those together, they're really fun. So you could do those. And I also have Sandus Garn Alpaca, which is also 100% alpaca. And um, these are very, they're priced reasonably. They're each $9 a skein. So, you know, two skeins will make a hat or three. Um, and here are some of the colors. And these are interchangeable with the others. So I do recommend those. Um, they're quite nice and fun to knit with. So that's one pattern that I do recommend. Um, and I have another one here that I chose that I thought was a great, um, it's called Easy Peasy Cow. And I thought this was a great beginner's um, stranded knitting pattern. So um, I would recommend it. It's, this is done with, with a yarn that changes color. I'm just gonna show you two colors, um, which I think would be the easiest for you to do. Um, and when I do stranded knitting, I hold the main color in my left hand and the, and we'll do a demonstration of that, and the um, contrasting color in my right hand. And so I can just knit this way. And once you start doing it with your left hand a little bit, you'll learn that this is continental knitting and it's easy. And the nice thing about doing, holding it, the two different yarns in, in each hand is you don't twist the yarn um, below you, which happens, the working yarn. So I have some yarn that, I've, um, that I would suggest using for this. Again, it's you can do it with just two colors. So I'm choosing a white background and these are the choices that I could do these two or these two, I like this because it's really high contrast. And who doesn't love blue and white? And here's red and white. And this is all, um, sorry, I didn't even mention what it was. It's Sueno worsted, it's bamboo and wool. So again, it'd be a nice warm choice. It's um, totally, I would machine wash it on gentle cycle and I would not put it in the dryer. Um, so, and I would make sure you sort of block it out nicely when you, after you wash it. And of course you can hand wash. I hand wash in my sink, in my bathroom all the time. It takes me, I soak something and it, um, for, you know, 20 minutes or sometimes all day, cause I forget about it. And then I rinse it out. I soak it in eucalyn and I rinse it out and, um, then I wrap it in a towel and I put it, I have one of those mesh sweater drying rack kind of things. And I just put it out there. The whole process takes me 10 minutes. So people who say they don't like to hand wash, it takes almost as long as putting it in the washer and putting the, you know, putting it on the um, wash, you know, delicate cycle and bringing it out and then putting, it's almost the same amount of time. So. I do recommend hand washing anytime. And plus, if you only have one thing to do, you don't want to run your whole washer for one sweater or one cowl or something. So I told you I would show you, um, this is an example of a two color barrel knit. And I'll show you the inside. 
So this is, you carry the two colors and you, you knit, mostly I don't do more than three stitches at a time without wrapping one, one yarn over the other. And I will do a demonstration maybe in our next video showing you how to do that. But the back should look as neat as the front. And this is done, this is a pattern called, and I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly, Suwalulu. It's S-O-U-L-A-U-L-U. -L -L -U. Um, and it was a wonderful, fun knit. And I did it in, um, oh, and it has um, some patterning on the sleeve as well. I haven't, I haven't woven my ends in yet, and I haven't blocked it yet. But the yarn that I used, and I really love this yarn, um, it's called Laland. It's from Die Gilpin. It's a Scottish yarn, and it's 100% lamb's wool. So I used these two colors, and they're a sport weight, and I really, I loved it. It's beautiful. So um, stay tuned for more on stranded knitting. Um, these will, you can buy these yarns in the shop easily. Um, you can call us or come in, and um, I hope you'll give Stranded Knitting a try. Um, we are going to do a workshop on mittens. Uh, Selbu, which is a um, is it Norwegian style of knitting. <gasps> or is it Latvian? Oh, I better find that out. Sorry. Um, we'll, we'll announce it and tell you what it is. We have some beautiful knit mittens that are actually knit in um, these yarns. So um, we'll announce that and you can join that workshop if you're interested in learning more about this. So stay well um, and come visit us. Take care, bye-bye.